morning. It's Thursday morning. Um, I am as tired as I look. <laughs> look at these dark circles under my eyes. Um, I haven't done a video for a while. I did try to do one when I had all my auctions last week, but it just seemed, I watched it back and it just seemed really dull. <laughs> so I didn't post it. Um, last week I had three auctions in five days. I bought an average of 250 quid's worth of stock at each. That's a hell of a lot of stock. So I've just been working like crazy, trying to work my way through it, organize it, not um, list it all, but just put it into piles. What's going to my booth? What's going to um, downstairs? And what's going to be listed? You know, so, and what I'm going to take to my fair in November. So it's been really, really, really full on. Um, I have signed up for another booth. I'm getting another booth straight after my fair in November. So that's an extra little incentive to keep working. Um, I'm working in my shop today, but I'm down to working one half day a week, just like semi-retirement. Um, but I'm working harder than ever on my stuff, so uh, I'm pretty, pretty tired. Uh, I thought I'd give you a little tour of my shop, how I've increased the stock around the shop and how it's going really well. So I bought loads and loads of studio pottery and this is just some of it um, that I've put in the shop and that's been going quite well. So I've got loads of these little cottages, I've got some African carvings. A few weeks ago I got a load of teapots, don't particularly like them but <laughs> We'll see, somebody might. Um, all sorts of china, some nice sort of oriental stuff. Tea. I got loads of this Japanese stuff, Chinese stuff. I don't know is it, which one it is. Recently, loads of commemorative tea cups and things. more cups and saucers they do actually go quite well here and um, coffee pots i got a load of these fairies recently at the auction i got those for a pound plus commission i think i'm doing them at about six quid each some denby chevron ware indian tree uh, some glass fish and these lovely, these still haven't sold, I'm really surprised, although the staff could have put them the right way around. Lovely parrots, are sort of art deco plates. Some Adams. I forgot what that's called. <gasps> it's awful. I should know. I'm always getting loads of wooden boxes and things, so I've put those all together. Always look nice. Some glassware and some more stuff. Still haven't sold all these comics. <laughs> I need to do something with those. I've got some old tins. And some uh, stoneware, Denby foot warmers or hot water bottles, whatever you want to call them. And on this side, some old books. Bits and bobs. So this is all the stock that's in the window. Obviously it's both sides. I can't show you the outside because it'll just glare against the glass. I've been doing quite well with jewellery in the shop. So um, this is how I display them. I make a little card, put it through and write on the price. Same with sort of earrings, that sort of thing. Um, I did make this one for a necklace but it's really difficult for me to display so I've ordered some display stuff um, <clears throat> for different jewellery so I'm going to start putting that on so I'll show you that and how I've got it ready to put in the window because I'm hoping with the lead up to Christmas that I might pick up a few jewellery sales in here. So I got this stand here 
for bracelets and things. It cost about six quid. Uh, I got it on eBay. I can't say I'm overly impressed. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think the overall effect looks good. I got this for necklaces. It's just like black velvet. You can stand it up. It's got little hooks, so you hook the necklaces on. Yeah, overall, it looks nice. And then the back has got a fold out so you can stand it up. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to stand it up or lie it down yet. And then I got this one, which is for earrings. It's got little sort of, I don't know if you can pick that out, but it's where you can put the earrings in. It's very fiddly, so I'm not quite sure. I might just use it to lie brooches on and things. Um, I'm still deciding with that one. I also got some little gift boxes so i started putting rings in gift boxes and i thought i'd put them on this tray in the window um there's some of the rings and things that i've got in one of my auction lots a few months ago i got this um i could have sold it because it had never been used it was new but i actually kept it to try out cleaning jewelry and it does work actually it does get a certain amount of the dirt off um gently so um i can't say it's it doesn't it's not a fantastic result but it certainly gets it a bit cleaner some of the vintage stuff can be really grotty and then i've got piles of stuff that i still need to sort out hi there it's saturday morning i'm just uh, gonna go into an auction um after I did my last video on Thursday, I basically just flaked out. I was absolutely shattered. Um, felt quite ill, actually. I've been push pushing myself too hard. So I had a day off yesterday. Um, went and met a friend for a cup of tea, cream tea. And then uh, I did go to the auction viewing, um, but I didn't really do any other work. Uh, so I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, so I've got the auction today. There's not a great deal here today. I've just come for a bit of a day out <laughs> socialising. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you what I get. Okay, it's about five o'clock Saturday. I've got so much stuff. There's more down there. Whoops. I've just, um, there's more in my lounge and more out near my washing machine. Loads. Um, I got loads more studio pottery. I must be mad. Um, what else did I get? Some blue glassware. I got these nice um, sort of wooden figurine things. Um, mainly studio pottery. <laughs> anyway, so tonight and tomorrow I will mainly be cleaning, pricing and packing it away for later because there's no way I'm going to get much more out in my shop. Um, I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, so I'm a little bit embarrassed by the state of my house, but I'm going to show you what it's like to live with um, a lot of stock. Um, I'll show you around my lounge. Okay, so there's a table that uh, I will be selling at some point, and jewellery that I'm in the middle of sorting. There's a bench to sell, a table right in the middle of the room, some prints various things for me to list pictures of the kids obviously this is all stuff i've got piled up ready for my fair more stock in piles down there more stuff down there over here i've got a big cake like two tier cake stand there's another cake stand high down there a standard lamp a little cabinet some little <laughs> table and a mirror and then over here, another table, a butler's uh, tray and stand, another table, a little store, some stock, more stock, a little table and a mirror. It's everywhere. Oh, and underneath the telly, uh, some more stuff. It's everywhere. And that's that's just scratching the surface it's everywhere look this is our computer desk i've got vases boxes um 
up on my stairs. I'll walk backwards and then you can see <laughs> halfway up the stairs. I've got some uh, beautiful fire guards, but a load of stock as well that I've priced up ready for Bridport. And we've run out of space, so it's even in the bathroom. A table. And a sewing box. So you can see that my house is filling up. Um, really filling up. The reason is that I've signed up for another booth, which is in a few weeks' time, straight after my fair, and it's quite a big space, and um, so I need to have enough stuff to make it look okay. It's not, not going to be full straight away, but at least it needs to look okay. Um, and we've got no storage. And I've also got extra stock for the fair itself as well, which I'm storing, so I'm at absolute maximum at the moment. Um, I've got bids on at two different auctions so I've got hopefully more stock to pick up tomorrow um, I've also got some other bits that I couldn't fit in the van from the auction yesterday which I need to pick up um, so the house is going to be jam um, I'm going to leave it there because I've got so much to do um, I hope you're all alright and keeping busy take care, bye <music>